All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Shining Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, we have now finally got ourselves with the Cobble Badge. We also did help around with Dawn as well, too. I think we also did help her uh, get her Pokedex back from the Team Galactic members. Now, also as well, too, we actually decided to go and head out here over to the outer part of Valstone because we're going to start heading on over to Pastoria City very soon. Um, but before that, uh, we actually decided to go and head on into a cave that's just around out here, and we decided to grab ourselves an encounter and that kind of ended off things now we also do have an encounter here within this route still so we still have to go and basically go and do that as well too in the process now off recording i did actually go and do a little bit of some extra other type of trainer battles around here within this place i did not go and battle like every single type of trainer that was around here but i wanted to make sure that we can try and get ourselves an evolution uh for our ivysaur which that did actually decide to happen within uh during my off record time so we do actually now have ourselves with a venusaur at this point and i'm very happy happy about that so that's gonna be uh, hopefully somewhat helpful uh, for our time uh, for whatever type of a purpose that we actually do need via our force so we actually do have Luffy at level 36 does have flamethrower power punch slack off and also with U-turn we also do have Sean at level 34 with takedown thunder punch confuse rain also with thunder shock we also do have Maryland at level 35 with aqua tail bounce play rough and also with rain dance we also do have jet at level 32 with growl pounce sweet kiss and also with life dew we also do have Joan at level 31 with drain punch bite sucker punch and also with headbutt and we also care for about java as well now finally at level 30 32 does have poison powder leech seed petal blizzard and also with growth which i believe that was a brand new move for venusaur to actually go and learn so it has been somewhat pretty helpful but here we go let's go and run on into our encounter here for this route and let's see what we can finally go and grab ourselves with oh a rumble raid well this is an interesting pokemon to try and grab from here uh, now, off recording, I think I also went and bought with some Ultra Balls as well. So, hopefully, with these brand new Ultra Balls that I actually do have, hopefully, they can come a little bit in handy uh, for our time. So, that would be really helpful. All right, come on. Let's use these Ultra Balls to our advantage. Hopefully, these are not going to be rigged, man. They should always work. Oh, yeah. And Ultra Balls do always work. And we finally now got that. And you guys already know who I'm going to be naming this Remoraid after. And that is, of course, going to be from our previous other series that we did from before with the Pokemon Shield Rando. Which that is actually going to be Mosey. Now, I don't think we ever really got to go and use Mosey during our time of the Pokemon Shield uh, Randomizer that was going on. Uh, but we did actually have this as like a backup type of water type Pokemon uh, for uh, Hogan during that series. If anything ever did have to go on. But we're going to go and send you to the box. And... And I think with that being said in mind, that is perfect. Okay, so now we're done with that. And we can now finally just continue our way through here. I know that I went and already battled out with this trainer. I think I also battled out with uh, this uh, Psyche trainer as well too in the process. But however, uh, I think we actually do have a repel. And we could probably go and use that to our advantage. Do we? I just want to make sure if we do. Yeah, we do have actually have ourselves with a super repel. So let's go and use that. And we're going to see if we can try and grab with that other ball that's down there. Because I wouldn't mind trying to see what that is going to have in store. I just see that there is also a few other... Ooh, Rock Incense. Interesting. Um, now, I don't think we really have a Pokemon that can really help us out with that. But if, if we ever do need a Pokemon that always needs to get like a boost up with like some sort of Rock type move, that would be pretty interesting. Alright, so let's go and take care of this guy. Now again, uh, I will be taking most of care of these other type of trainers if I don't really go and battle them within this episode. I'll do them like uh, probably like off recording or something. Try to get some extra bit of grinding out of the way for that. But uh, we do have a Surskit out here. Don't really think I could go ahead and just use Luffy for this battle. So we'll have to go and uh, switch on around and probably bring out Sean instead. We do have Thunder Punch, so hopefully that could kind of help out a little bit. All right, so let's go and throw you on down. And watch out for the sweet scent that's going to be going on. Oh, no. Uh, please don't do anything annoying. Well, my evasiveness, that's totally fine. So, yeah, we got ourselves a Thunder Punch, so let's go and do it. I have to say, man, Ampharos looks super huge in this game. Uh, just, like, looking at the screen uh, for what I actually do get to see there. Now, uh, right on after once this video is done, guys, you guys are going to be, of course, going to be seeing that there is going to be a Final Fantasy IX episode as well, too. Uh, we are, of course, oh, no, that brings back some nightmares as well, too. Uh, that brings back some nightmares from the wheel lock uh, that, that I just literally uh, haven't really got to go and show you guys yet. But that hair cross is going to become a major problem within that episode because uh, you guys are going to probably find that out a little bit later. Um, now, I want to say we can swap out, because I think we can also, uh, use a flamethrower on this, uh, Heracross. Because, uh, I remember, 
going into that Galactic HQ, and this man actually does have something. Oh, wow. That does a lot of damage, dude. Hopefully, when I'm playing it, I can at least be able to just do a lot more damage back. All right, just make sure that this dude is out of here. Thank goodness. Phew. That hair cross is out of the way. Thank God. It's too bad that our honey encounter wasn't really a hair across. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, and we also got ourselves a shift tree. That really shouldn't be too bad either. I don't know if shift tree actually gets any type of flying type moves, but we should be okay. Because I think another flamethrower should be able to just do some damage, knock out shift tree. And we're basically good from there. So, yep. And uh, for what we're going to be doing in uh, Final Fantasy IX is that we are going to be going and trying out on the Tetra Master game. Because I believe that is a part of the actual storyline that we do have to go and kind of do uh, for a little bit. So uh, I kind of have to try and put my uh, best game face on uh, for when we start trying to uh, try and do the, uh, the, the tournament type of round uh, within Final Fantasy IX for Tetra Master. Alright, so now we're in this area, and I believe this is a new uh, encounter as well too, right? Let me just head back up here. Let me see. So this is Route 214, and then coming down this way, this is Valor Lakefront. So yes, this is a brand new encounter. So we'll just kind of have to run around until our super repel kind of wears off at this point. So there we go, perfect. <laughs> and right into the grass we go, and we run into a Chatot. What? Well, this is a vanilla Pokemon. Normally, this is a Pokemon that you would actually get to find here within this route. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to go and run away from it. I don't think we really do need to really worry about having the chat taught there. So, let's just go and pick up with this item. Got ourselves a prison berry. Interesting. Not really uh, something that we can't really go and use at the moment. Uh, but, yes, there is something that we can go and grab, though. And we're going to go and try to figure out where the sweet key is. Now, the sweet key shouldn't be too hard to find around in here. But you should just be able to just go and find it, like, just right around at, like, the back entrance around this little hotel room that's there and then just give this right on over to this lady and then we can get ourselves a free lava cookie after all of this and it's just gonna be really nice to have like a free full heal all right so inside here we go give me the lava cookie thank you very much there's not very too many times that you could go and find a lava cookie around here in this game so always use those to your advantage if you ever have like a major status problem or something Okay, well, it seems like everything is raining right now, and that seems a little bit annoying. But, hopefully that's not going to be playing a factor with anything. Uh, now, we do have another item that's down here, guys. So, the mind plate. Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. We're just coming across with every single type of plate that's around here, right? But that's crazy, guys. So, it's an icicle plate now. And, uh, let me just see what else we got. Got that rose incense. So, that's going to help us out with grass type. Um, let's actually go and give that rose incense and we'll switch that around with Jabba then. Because I did not expect that we would actually have that there. Yep, so now we got that to kind of help us out as well too. So yeah, the mind plate works out. Um, hopefully it will kind of help us out maybe a little bit later in the long run. Got a few other little battles down there if we need it to go and worry about. Uh, we also got some of these fishermen as well too that we can also go and do some battles as well too in the process. But, um, I guess we could probably go and take on one of these guys that are around here. Okay, so it's not that dude. I know it's one of these other fishermen that you could kind of like do an extra little bit of some battling with. Yeah, like this guy, for example. So let's go and take care of this guy. I don't know if he has anything that's too wild on him. But he does have three. A Trico. Okay, well that's not too entirely bad. I wonder if this guy will have like uh, an RNG of like all of the uh, all of the Hoenn starters or something. That'd be weird. Alright, so Flayther, let's go and light it up. And I think that is a done deal. Yes, it is. Sweet. So not too shabby at all. And uh, also as well, too, I think I got something, uh, information from Twitter, uh, saying that apparently uh, that Central Pokemon is not going to be uh, revealing out any other type of information, I guess, like about like the story related type of stuff, which that is pretty nice. Uh, because like I don't really want to get myself like completely spoiled by like the actual story of like Scarlet and Violet. Like I don't mind like uh like centro and like other other different uh like poke tubers that are out there that will like kind of like uh, share off information about like what the new pokemon are or like uh what the new gimmicks and features are all about but yeah i i don't really want to get myself completely spoiled out by the story because that already happened before and a few other uh data mine type of stuff from the last time you know uh from like uh, pokemon sun and moon and i think even also uh within oh made zone Okay, well, that is a little bit scary, but let's go ahead and heal ourselves up. 
I don't think this main zone has anything that's flying related moves, does it? I think all we have to just kind of go and do is just make sure that we just set up for uh, Electro Ball. Well, it does go first, but at least it didn't do as much. We're going to go for another flamethrower here. All right, come on. Let this main zone get out of here, dude. Nice. Oh, what? You got to be kidding me. Literally just by only living on just a, just a few more HP there. All right, how about this power-up punch? This should at least do something now. Yep, that's also super effective. Perfect. Main zone is out of here. This fisherman guy is gone. There we go. And that works out phenomenally well. And also, Joe's now at level 32, so not too shabby either. Ooh, double hits. Okay. Uh, let's go switch around with headbutt, because I don't think I really uh, wouldn't mind having double hit all that. Well, actually, it does do 35. Ugh. No, maybe not. I didn't realize until double hit actually had less amount of uh, power for it to get hit, though. You, why would you want to learn double hit and, uh, and do something like that? Maybe not. All right, so there we go. So that takes care of the fishermen. Uh, I know that there is a last trainer. Well, well, not a last trainer, but one of those beauty trainers up there. What? How in the heck did she spot me out from miles away like that? Okay. I guess she has some 2020 vision on her or something. Jeez. She saw me from like a long shot there. Well, we do have a Dawn fan. Now, this battle shouldn't be too entirely bad, I don't think, because I think if we just have for a power up punch. We should be fine against this. But again, I know that power up punch is not going to do as much damage, though. We'll see. No. But it will power up our power up punches. So hopefully that will be a little bit nice. Rapid spin. Okay, that's not too entirely bad. But I think for me, just to play it safe, though, I think I'm going to have to switch out into Maryland. Because I think that this man is going to probably at least have Bulldoze or something, kind of like in the background here. Because he's going to probably start to try and use that at some point. Oh, well, that's not nice. You're going to knock off my Quick Claw, huh? Well, here, how about you just take this Aqua Tail? Going to Rapid Spin. Like, Rapid Spin is good for, like, only, like, one thing, and that's just kind of, like, removing off all the spikes or anything or toxic spikes off of the battlefield. Rapid Spin is not really all that too great of a move. But, hey, at least we were able to knock out on the Beauty Trainer, though. And that's perfect. Phew. Oh, and I think she also said Phew, too. <laughs> well, let's go and uh, smash out the rock here. Because I do want to see what this other item is going to have in store for us here. TL40 Aerial Ace. Interesting. Okay. Well, don't mind if I actually do pick up that item, though. Now, this right over here. This is Route 213. I'm pretty sure we already went and did everything here at 213 anyways. So, that encounter has already been finished up with. And here we are, guys. With all that being said in mind, we are now finally here into Pastoria City now. Okay, and with that being said in mind, I think I'm just going to go and end off this episode here for today, and we'll hold off by heading into Safari Zone and also with the next route uh, to grab out those encounters until next time. Uh, but also as well, too, I will probably go and do some off record grinding uh, before going and starting off with the next episode, uh, just so that I can go and take care of a few other extra trainers and uh, basically get our guys just up a little bit higher up into some levels. I think... Like, we should be somewhat okay for when we go and take care of Crash or Wake, but I just want to just play it a little bit more uh, safe uh, when we go into there. Because you never know what Crash or Wake is going to probably have for a randomized Pokemon uh, that, that's going to be happening on this team. But I'll see you guys then, and of course, peace.